Welcome to Craft and Crochet. In this video, I'm going to share with you how to make this wind spinner. It's so beautiful and really easy to make. I made each one using three color yarn. It's really easy to make. Even beginners can make too. I'm going to give you all details step by step. I hope everyone will love this video. If you like this video, please thumbs up. Okay, let's get started. You can use any size hook. I'm using 4 mm crochet hook. Also you need pair of scissors and a needle. I'm using 3 color yarn. This all yarn is double knitting yarn. Okay, let's get started. I'm gonna left this much yarn to begin. Slip knot. And a chain. We need 100 chain. 100 chain is perfect for this pin spinner. Now I have a 100 chain. I'm going to cut this yarn a little bit longer. And tie this yarn. If you want a small size, you can go with the 75 chain. This 100 chain is coming around 65 centimeter. Or 25 inches when you finish this printer is coming almost 80 centimeter if you like this video please thumbs up and share and comment down below if you're new for my channel don't forget to join with my hundred of thousand subscribers by clicking this subscribe button and the bell icon if you miss my previous video, please click on my channel name Craft and Crochet. Under this video icon, you can get my all previous video in here. This all videos are with the subtitle too. Okay, I am gonna start first row now. Start with the first chain. This is the first chain. I am start with the blue color yarn. You can use any color yarn with the row 1. Go through the first chain and join your color. I'm using blue color yarn. Start with the chain 3. 1, 2, 3. This chain 3 I'm going to count first double crochet into the same chain. 1 double crochet. Now I have a 1, 2 double crochet. Into the next chain. 2 double crochet together 1 2 again into the next chain 2 double crochet this first row is going into each chain 2 double crochet you can repeat this pattern all the way to this first row is coming into each chain 2 double crochet continue this pattern all the way to this first row now I am nearly finished this first row. I made into each chain 2 double crochet. Then it's coming all together 200 double crochet. I'm going to cut this yarn a little bit longer. And tie this yarn in here. When you finish the first row, it looks like this. Next I'm going to start row 2. Row 2, I am start with this first double crochet. Row 2, I am using light color yellow. Go through this first third chain. Join your yarn. Start with the chain 3. 1, 2, 3. This chain 3, I am going to count first double crochet into the same double crochet space. 2 double crochet. 1, 2. Now I have all together 3 double crochet. Again into the next double crochet. 3 double crochet. 1, 2. 
and a three double crochet again into the next double crochet three double crochet one two three this row two is going into each double crochet to three double crochet continue this pattern all the way to this row two i'm going to show you end of this row two now i'm nearly finished this row two into this last double crochet three double crochet now i finished row two with the 600 double crochet i'm going to cut this yarn a little bit longer and tie this yarn in here now i finish two rows next i'm gonna make last row last row i'm using dark color yellow i'm gonna start with the chain one into the next double crochet this going to the backward single crochet use using backward like this go through this double crochet pull this yarn and go through this both loop if you want you can make this last round with a single crochet if you use this way is coming beautiful finishing for this printer into each double crochet to we need one stitch continue this pattern all the way to this last double crochet now i'm nearly finished this third row i made into each double crochet to one stitch into this first third chain for the row two last stitch I'm start this third row on a last stitch with the second row and finish with the second row first stitch this third row is going up to down when you finish the third row it look like this first I'm going to show you how to hide this yarn tail after that I'm going to show you how to adjust this sprinter from now please follow this video Now you can tie this yarn. I'm using this blue color and a dark yellow color together. Next two yarn tail I'm gonna cut. It's coming like this. This is the top. You can use this top to down to make the shape for this printer. Like this. It's really easy to make. When you finish this printer, don't forget to share with me in our Facebook group. I'll give you a link in the description down below. Next, I'm going to show you how to finish this printer using this pom pom. You you can use the pom pom or like this. I'm going to show you how to make that. I'm using two color like this. If you want, you can use the one color. I'm using this blue and dark yellow. I need two yarn tail to tie this. I'm gonna use this four finger 
like this much is coming almost 13 centimeter or 5 inches we need 25 time if you use with the one color we need 50 time I'm using this yarn tail to, to tie this from now please follow this video You can cut this whole yarn same size. Next, I'm gonna add this one into this spinner. If you want, you can use the beads to this corner like this. If you don't have any, it's okay. Now I finished this spinner. It's so beautiful and really easy to make. You can use the needle same way to hide this yarn. From now, please follow this video. Now I finished. It's really easy to make. This the second one and this the third one. This first one I made now. This second one I made chain with the white color yarn. First and second row with this and third row with the red color. And this third one chain I made with the yellow color. First and second row I made with the, this two color. And third row I made with the this yarn is so beautiful I hope everyone will love it if you like this video please thumbs up and share and comment down below see you again with another video